growing up back home, I played everything. So I played netball, um, I played touch, I played cricket, uh, I played basketball. And then as I got to high school, I started playing rugby. Obviously you're gonna identify an element of talent and I guess it, it depends on how you view talent. So talent to me is not just your physical ability to play a sport, but it's also the characteristics of that individual that pull that whole picture together. So that's the stuff that you don't see at such a young age. Um, young people haven't gone through life experiences where they've been challenged around how they think, how they view themselves, how they see themselves in the world. Um, and it's those things we kind of miss. I work in sports right now and people often say to me, oh, you need to watch my kid do this. They're 11 years old and they're, they're gonna be a future black fern or an all black. And, I just think to myself, obviously they've got some talent, but there's so much more to it to get to that higher level. And that's just gonna come at different stages of that kid's life. So the problem is around youth participation in sport. There is a massive dropout, which evolves around early specialization, um, the notion around winning, the belief that childhood success is gonna lead to adult success. When I looked at my journey, I was able to get um, skills from each of the different sports, which I think, I, I truly believe, have helped me become the best rugby player. So I've taken my skills from netball, my skills from touch, my skills from every sport I've played, and that's helped form me as a rugby player. What we know is that kids develop and grow at different stages. So it's important that when we're making these kinds of decisions that we factor that in. If I can speak from my own personal experience, um, I wasn't typically what you would see as a rugby player. I mean, I wasn't much bigger. Uh, well, I was pretty much this size, you know. I wasn't very big as a kid. So you wouldn't think that she would go on to become, that I would go on to become a rugby player. And I think if people would have just sort of um, push me to the side at, at 14 years old and said, oh, she doesn't have the, the frame to be a successful rugby player, then we would never have known what could have been for me. So I'm lucky that people were, you know, I had the support around me to just play. Um, and then eventually when I wanted to make the decision to pursue a sport, then I'd had, I had a good go at that. I think um, as you know, decision makers in sport, we need to identify what those barriers are and do our best to remove them. And if that be by um, introducing formats of the game that um, you know go against the traditional norm but provide a service to everybody, then that's how we should be thinking and operating. I think it's important that parents, um, coaches, administrators, people that make the decisions in sport um, really put the, the child and their needs at the centre of their decision making.